Um, Taoiseach, um, I want to ask you also about the data centres and really comment on the speed and insistence of Minister Ryan and Minister Coveney to protect the data centre sector. It's actually absolutely astonishing when you see the statistics of an increase, a massive increase in the amount of uh, electricity, up 9% in the last five years, that's been used by this sector. And alone, as has been said, it accounts for the equivalent amount of all urban household use. Now, what I would like to see is an honest, open debate and discussion about what data centres are good for. I might say, some might say absolutely nothing, but we know that we use Twitter, all sorts of things, social media, um, and to criticise somebody for using social media to uh, be critical of the government's policy on this is a nonsense. I think the government needs to be much more honest with the population and have a real discussion in this house about what do data centres actually do for a society. If they're gobbling up, and will gobble up 30% of the national grid by 2030, that's a serious question. In relation to data centres generally, as I said earlier on today, um, we have over 100,000 people who work in the tech sector in Ireland. Uh, they might not work in data centres, but their jobs are dependent on data centres. And the companies um, that require them pay billions in tax in Ireland, which we use to pay for healthcare and housing and education and other things. Um, we have to make sure that's part uh, of the debate. Um, as I said earlier as well, AirGrid has not issued any new connections uh, for data centres since July of 2020. That's nearly two years now. Uh, and, new, and new applications are assessed on a case-by-case -case basis, uh, taking into account the government's uh, policy statement on data centres. Um, I heard Deputy Smith remarking um, and very much linking uh, data centres to um, social media, and I think that's a bit facile, um, but I do agree with her uh, that we should have an open and honest debate about these things. And if we have an open and honest debate about data centres, we'd know, for example, that Zoom and Web WebEx uh, technologies that enable remote working uh, which is so good for family life, require data centres. We know, for example, that financial information, uh, making electronic payments, internet banking, the kind of things we do every day, uh, requires uh, digitalisation. Uh, we know, for example, that increasingly we're going to need uh, data for medicine, uh, because more and more the scans we have are done digitally, uh, the samples that are taken uh, going to the PAT lab are examined uh, individually. Um, and all those things, all those things are, are requirements, and, and there will be, and there will be a growing requirement. Actually, uh, I, for all, I'm sure there'll be a growing requirement for all of those things.